is about um, the legalization of the marriages of former slaves that happened during Reconstruction. During slavery, African American marriages, um, marriages of former slave, of slaves were not legal. All we could do is jump over a broom as one of the ways to show our commitment to being husband and wife. But a slave owner, if he wanted to, could split families apart by selling a mother, say, to Alabama and having a daddy in North Carolina. You know, he could separate families. But during Reconstruction, all those marriages were made legal. And so for those who were blessed enough to still be together, it was a great celebration. But that's where my story starts. All those marriages have been made legal, and they're on their way to register their marriage at the courthouse. And a little girl, Ellen, ha has been charged with bringing the broom along that they jumped on the journey, kind of as a symbol and a link to the past as they march toward the future. Whose broom is she bringing along? Her mother and father's, the one, the one that they jump, and it, and it hangs um, over the fireplace. One part of the story, Ellen wants to see them jump the broom, because she wasn't born yet when they did. And so at her urging, they actually do jump, jump the broom again. And at first, the father is re reluctant to do that because he feels like it's kind of, kind of like the past slavery day stuff. But Ellen reminds him that it's always going to be part of who they are. And so that's kind of, you know, showing even today. I jumped the broom at my own wedding, and, and couples do now. And so it's kind of giving some history and some context to why we jumped the broom. Don't let me go back home. Good. You're going to march to your own beat. Very nice. Anybody else?